Over the weekend, I was pretty privileged to see a common club-tailed dragonfly emerging from its nymphal case. Yep, I'm talking about dragonflies again. There's other things on the internet if you're not interested in this. The club tells a bit of a local speciality. The area around Goring is one of the best places in the UK to find it. It occurred to me that most of you have probably never seen a dragonfly emerging from its nymphal stage, so I thought I'd take the opportunity, using the photos I took, to talk you through the process. So the first stage is freeing itself from the nymph. You can see that characteristic crack down the back and across the back of the head. That's the animal pumping itself up to free itself. As the animal emerges, you can see those white filaments alongside its body. Those are tracheae. So they're unblocking the holes that the adult dragonfly uses to breathe. This is part of the process of going from an aquatic life cycle to a terrestrial life cycle. You can see them pop out as the process happens. At this point, unlike most other dragonflies which hang back in the nymphal case, the club tail sits up straight. In this process, it's waiting for the legs to dry. It can't touch down to support itself until those legs have hardened. So it sits there for a while, wondering about the world, and then once the legs have hardened, it touches them down to the emergent surface, in this case a concrete wall, beautiful, I know, and pulls itself free from the remains of the case. At this point, it's got two major things it needs to do. It needs to pump up its abdomen to full length, and it needs to pump up its wings to full length. And over this next series of shots, you can see that. This is the insect pumping its hemolymph, its equivalent of blood, into those tissues to really pump them up to full size. And you can see the wings getting longer and longer, and you can see the abdomen getting longer and longer. During this process, the animal's really vulnerable to predation. So anything could come along and pick it off the wall. And actually, there was a heart-stopping moment where a boat came by. One of the major threats to this species is the fact that they're often knocked back into the water at the point of emergence washed away, if you will, before they can become a breeding adult. And that very nearly happened to this one. The wake came by and completely submerged the animal for a moment. My heart was in my mouth. Luckily, she survived and came through and carried on with the process. So you can see now the wings are at full size and there's only one process left to happen. Before the body hardens and becomes firm and rigid in the adult shape, it needs to extrude all of that liquid that it had inside its body from being an aquatic animal. And if you watch a dragonfly emerge, you'll see drops begin to emerge from the end of the abdomen. At this point, it becomes more sleek, it becomes more flattened, and it hardens into the final adult posture. So all it needs to do now is sit tight and wait until those wings become firm enough to support its weight, at which point it can make its first flight off into the trees, where it can complete the drying process. In most dragonflies, you know when this has happened because the wings go from being folded above the body to smacking open across its back. That only happened briefly in this specimen. She closed them again when she'd left and gone to the woods. So it was a bit different to what I'm used to seeing. Nevertheless, it was a privilege to see it. Beautiful, miraculous, heart-stopping at times. Some people will probably think I'm a bit ridiculous. But I do maintain they're missing out. I was lying there for about 45 minutes, all told, waiting for this thing to emerge, extrude and disappear. And nobody stopped. Nobody talked to me. I tell a lie. One woman stopped because she thought I was dead. But not to take an interest in the dragonfly. Which was a bit sad. They have a very narrow emergence period. So if you're down by the Thames in that goring area, do keep an eye out. Chances are if you see a large dragonfly floating about, it might well be a club tail. So keep your eyes open. They're not going to be something you see very many times in your life. Make the most of it.